Hey there, it's E Squared Photography. I'm Erin. And I'm Emily, and we are here to keep things simple and fun. Are you interested in starting a photography business? Well, we're here today to give you seven essential tips for 2021 in starting your photography business. And stay tuned all the way till the end because we have something just for you. We promise to have you starting your photography business in 2021 being the best business you could possibly make it. For the best photography tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications of future videos. Tip number one to start off your photography business in 2021 successfully. The biggest thing that we cannot emphasize enough is getting on social media. Create your social media accounts, whether it be Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, whatever you think you need and get those started right away. And as you're doing sessions or you're doing free sessions just to get started and get some practice, share those on your social media, make it look like you're kind of busy, have your um, friends, family like it, share it, just get it out there as much as you can. Share it on your personal accounts, just make sure you're getting it out there because that's how you're going to get the clients that you want. Tip number two is be unique. You want to stand out in some way. You don't want to be just like everybody else in the town. Do something that's unique to you with your photography business. So when we talk about being unique, is it something with your experience and the clients themselves that's unique? Is it something with the packages that you offer? Or maybe you're offering prints, is that unique to you? Maybe it's something that happens during your session that's unique. Just one thing that puts you a little bit different than others, other photographers around your area. Tip number three for 2021, show yourself, just like Elsa said. Show yourself. I don't know if it was Elsa, but it was one of them. Anyway, show yourself. And what we mean by that is get on your social media and post a picture of you every now and then, or you with your family or your friends. Get on Instagram stories or whatever type of stories that you're using, or maybe create a little video. Just show your clients, your potential clients, who you are so they feel more comfortable with you when they actually get to a session or just book a session in general. Number four, Lightroom. Adobe Lightroom is, we think, pretty essential for having your photography business. You've got your DSLR camera. Now you need to be able to edit those pictures. And just for a small monthly fee, you can have access to Adobe Lightroom, which will make your pictures even more beautiful. And make sure to check out our Lightroom videos. We have a handful of them that will hopefully help you get started in editing. Number five, we really recommend right when you start out your photography business, determine a way that you're going to deliver your photos to your clients. So you've taken the photos, how are you gonna get them to them? We use something called shoot proof. We didn't start with shoot proof. We started with something completely else, but have a way to easily and efficiently deliver your photos. Shoot proof might be something you want to check out. Number six is ask questions, learn and get help with things you don't know how to do. You are going to most likely follow other photographers. Just ask them questions. They will be more, most of them, most of them will be more than happy to help you out and answer your questions. Ask us. We are more than happy to give you advice as well. Or go search on YouTube if you have nobody else. But that, would, that brings me to one other thing that you, could you should essentially do in starting your photography business is follow other photographers. They're going to be your inspiration. They're going to be the people you can go to to ask questions, and it's going to give you ideas. Tip number seven. Just like a photo delivery system we recommend, we also recommend you start your photography business off strong by using some sort of client management system. Now, we use something called Dubsado. We use Dubsado to get our invoices out, our contracts out. We use Dubsado to get questionnaires out. Um, it's all where our workflow takes place on how email delivery is going to happen between clients because as soon as you get a handful of clients, you're going to realize that a huge chunk of your time, more than you probably wanted, is going to be spent emailing back and forth constantly or messaging via Facebook Messenger. If you can get a system developed right away, again, we use Dubsado, it helps 
a ton. And a lot of it is automated. So our emails go out at a certain time to our clients. Um, invoices are there, like she said. We also track all of our business expenses in here and any income we make. It's all done in here, super simple. There's lots of tutorials. In the description below, we have linked the Dubsado link and the Shootproof link for you to take a look. Now, keep in mind when you're using something like Shootproof, but more so Dubsado for a client management system, it does sometimes take a little bit more work up front to develop those email templates and things like that and getting all of the things set in the system itself. But in the long run, you're gonna be so thankful that you use something like this. We want you to comment below right now any questions that you might have when starting your photography business in 2021. Let us know in the comments below. We hope that this was helpful and we wish you the very best in starting your photography business. It will be such a fun journey for you. And just to add to that, we have created a free download just for you all about camera settings. So manual mode is one of the hardest things to tackle when first starting your business on your camera. And we've created a simple guide that's going to help you out. So take a look in the description below. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe and share with a friend so we know to make more videos just like this one. If you don't already, make sure to follow us on our Instagram page at esquared.photography for even more bonus videos all about photography tips and tricks. And we will see you next time.